Dr. Marta Galvez runs the Plaza of the Revolution Polyclinic and knows just about everyone in the neighborhood. Every day she makes the rounds to check on COVID-19 suspects who've been quarantined. Especially those who've come from abroad, like Florida resident Isabel Garcia. Upon landing in Cuba, she was given a COVID-19 test. Then she and her entire family were put under strict lockdown. A doctor checks on them every day. On the fifth day, she got a second test, and now Dr. Galvez has come to tell her she's in the clear. I'm impressed that despite Cuba's few resources, they've been able to control this pandemic so well. Also, the people are very aware of what's going on and what they have to do. With a population of 12 million, Cuba has had fewer than 10,000 confirmed cases of coronavirus and fewer than 140 deaths. The secret isn't the weather. The same detailed block-by-block -block organizational control that the state uses for political purposes is also an effective tool for confronting everything from natural catastrophes to pandemics. I'm convinced that the organization of our society has been vital in confronting the virus and controlling it. An organized society with active participation of its citizens has given Cuba the success it's had. Dr. Raul de Armas says the results of clinical trials for a Cuban vaccine against COVID-19 look promising. Meanwhile, Dr. Galvez and her colleagues continue keeping close tabs on every possible carrier. We assign one person of each quarantine family to go out and get essentials under strict protocol. This is one of the ways we prevent the transmission of the epidemic. It's been so effective that Roxana de Torrealvas, who lives in Miami, says she flew to Cuba last week to stay with relatives in Havana because she feels much safer than in the United States. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera.